Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Ben from SBS in Lancaster. And I'm Miguel. We're continuing our SVS Level Up series. Today we're going to be playing uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Which to me, this is like one of my one of my personal favorites from the Super Nintendo. I spent many hours playing this game when I was little. See, I didn't. I didn't. I never played this as a child. I actually didn't even know that it existed. I okay. had like Super Mario World. I played that a lot. Like that was one of the main games I played. Okay. But it wasn't. I was a. I was an adult when I, when I saw that there was a Super Mario World Two Yoshi's <laughs> Island. Yeah. I mean, I just. I didn't play it. And then, when I tried it out one day as an adult. I was like, well, let me check it out. But like, it looks nothing like Super Mario World. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah, like that's why, like on this game, this is something, the art and all that is pretty cool. That's what makes it, I think, stand out, like pretty memorable. Yeah, because it looks like, you know, crayon drawing or like marker drawing. Yeah, like color pencils or something. Like it looks pretty hand-drawn, like very, yeah, it's really very cool. cartoony. I think that's cool. Yeah, it's definitely really cool. It just wasn't what I was expecting when, uh, yeah. when I thought I was going to be playing Super Mario World 2. Yeah. You know, I guess I wanted more of the same, and then I was just like, what is this? So <laughs> I, I haven't really played much of this game. Okay. I remember going through all of it once, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, like beating it? Yeah, like beating it. Like, okay. you know, nice. the whole... Well, I mean, the whole concept of this game, I think you're just, you're just playing it. Obviously, you know, ba Baby Mario here. Mm -hmm. Um... He gets separated from his uh, his brother Luigi, and he's a baby too. So I think at the end, all you have to do is you know finally get to where he's being held and reunite them. Okay. Because so. yeah, it shows like in the intro, they're like being delivered by a stork or yeah, by the stork. storks, uh -huh. and they get attacked and separated. Yeah. Those little flying uh, shy guy looking things. Mm -hmm. Those Koopas, a Kamek Koopa, whatever his name was. Yeah, Kamek. It's cool. Man, the music in this game, that's something that phew, stuck with me forever. Like, even to this day, I have friends that have made some songs into uh -huh. their ringtone. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, this one, oh, man, it's super nice. I mean, it sounds really good. Yeah. I mean, but also Nintendo, they're always good with their songs. They always they yeah. always make good music for their, like, their main their mainline games. But they don't play around when it comes no, to the music. Oh, how did I miss that? See, when I tried to play this game, it was super tough for me. Like trying to aim and everything, I was just, you know, it, it's a lot. Oh, I messed it's, it up. It's so different from like regular Mario World that there's like a lot to get used to. And, yeah. And, you know, like, like new mechanics. And it's obviously you're not playing as Mario, you're playing as Yoshi. Exactly. I yeah. think once I reach this halfway point, I'll, uh, I'll get some stars back. Okay. There you go. Yeah, so I actually did some research on this game. Uh, oh, okay. You know, for this, and you know, I really don't know, know anything about it. Uh -huh. uh, so it came out in 1995, okay. and while they were making it, uh, Donkey Kong Country came out. You know, you played Donkey Kong Country? I think I have. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one that has like the like the pre-rendered graphics. You know, they they look like three-dimensional. Oh. Okay. Like the character sprites. Uh -huh. um, so those. Uh, you know, like they did that and they're like, this is really cool. And you know, and at the time it was like super cutting edge. So like, uh, I guess like the higher ups on Nintendo were like, hey, you guys should do that for this Yoshi's Island game. Uh -huh. But they were already like too far into making the game to like introduce it. So then uh, the, the creator, Shigeru Miyamoto, the guy who created Mario, he created Zelda. He's like, you know, the Nintendo oh, okay. legend. Uh -huh. uh, he was also behind this game. Um, he was like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. So he like doubled down on making it more hand-drawn looking. Okay. And, you know, they were like, we're gonna stick to this and we're gonna make it more cartoon looking. Okay. And the company ended up liking it. And obviously this game, it's like, you know, it's been, it's like considered one of the best, uh, like platforming games of all time now. Well, I'm glad they stuck with this design. I mean, I like it. I love the drawings and all that. Yeah, it definitely looks really cool. Especially like like looking back on it. Yeah. Because like, you know, when when a when a game console was like current, you know, you just want like cutting edge graphics. You want right. things to look great. And then this is almost a step back, which I think is probably more appreciated like further down the line. 
you know, where you look back and it's like, look at this amazing art style. <laughs> yeah. Which, interestingly enough, the way that they did it is they actually hand drew the levels. Like oh, for this game? And everything. Yeah, so they hand Jeez. drew them, like, and they colored them with marker. Uh -huh. And then they made digital scans of that. And then they went in there and, and recreated it pixel by pixel. Dang. To get the colors and the, and the patterns and everything. So, like, it, I mean, you, you, you could tell they put in a bunch of work. It's a to lot, yeah. It to keep that like that hand-drawn look see when you brought up the donkey kong um there's some levels where you kind of i don't know you use an animal to get through levels oh, like okay. this is kind of something like donkey kong you know yeah i don't know if they borrowed from that or what came first i'm not really too sure on the timeline but that's something see and like you see how like yoshi and stuff transforms yeah <clears throat> and apparently like the bosses and stuff like they get like really big and stuff uh -huh. Uh, the way that they were able to do that is, uh, well, the Super Nintendo does not have the power to do that. It's not capable of making those kinds of graphics or those kinds of like movements. So they had to uh, use a different chip installed in the cartridge itself. Wow. Um, so they, at first, like, they had created a chip and it's called like the Super FX chip. And they use it on some games like Pilot Wings, I think, and some other games. But then they were like, okay, we can use that same chip, but they had already like discontinued that chip, so they had to create a new chip, and it's the Super FX2 chip. Oh, okay. And that's what, like in the intro screen, where like it shows the island, and it's like rotating. Yeah, oh that, yeah. That, like the, the hardware in the Super Nintendo can't do that, so it's a added chip that they put on the cartridge itself okay. that gives you that three-dimensional look to it. Okay, I see. Well, that's pretty cool, I mean, I had no idea. Yeah, it's really interesting how you know how much they were able to do with such with such little uh, yeah, at power. that time, dude. Oh man, it's super <laughs> crazy. And like, I always appreciated, you know, the I guess the art style and the graphics in this game. But I mean, knowing all that and that they did all that back then, that's pretty cool. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, they had a, they you know they figured out a way to make it work. These like engineers, it. man, they can figure things out. Okay, so I've made it to the other, uh... Those rotating here. things are crazy. Yeah, like over little sleighs and stuff, but... It's sad, they're just trapped. What are those? Eggs? They kind of remind me of the, the, the things from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, um... The, the twins? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I can't think of their names. No! But yeah, I know which ones you be. That was close. <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh no! All that for that little star, Turn man. Turn the stage again. <laughs> sure. I got eight Yoshis to spare. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they start you off low. You see that? I only have ten on the counter. So you can't mess up. The counter, like, when you when you take, like, when you get hit? Yeah, it's basically, you know, your life. Uh-huh. Also, like, health. so you build up the counter? Yeah, the more stars you get, uh... The more seconds you have? The more seconds you get, so you uh... get 30 seconds, but... Like I said, if... Oh, that, that's what you said about the max, how you max out at 30. Yeah. Okay. And then the more... Uh, I gotta be careful here again. The more damage you take, then it'll reset for nine. Once it gets to the, to the end, mm -hmm. it'll take away from your points. So you oh, don't want to really be dying too much. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously in any game. It's like rule one of any game. <laughs> <laughs> don't die. <laughs> Try not to die so much. Good. <laughs> now, how do you do... Oh, okay. So ground pound these guys. So a little sneaky guy. That, Is that looks just like, like a it can break. Like there's nothing in that. There you go. Oh. What? Secret. Another one. Um. Okay, so that the ones that are cracked like that, you can yeah. break. Oh. Yeah. You got the attention to detail here is pretty cool. Secret. <laughs> Taking the high road. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So make sure you get that in case I die. These boss levels end up being pretty hard. Oh really? Mm. You know what's cool too is that uh, the other Super Mario World games you would play where like, you know, he was even introduced. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't bring him into like the boss fights and here he is fighting the bosses. Yeah, that's right. In Super Mario World, there'd be always that little cutscene yeah. outside of the castle where uh, Mario would hop off of Yoshi exactly. and walk inside. But yeah. then it's sad, you think about it, because, you know, in that game, he blows up the building, leaving Yoshi behind. 
So I was like, why? Why do that? <laughs> like, there's plenty of Yoshis in this world. Oh, well, yeah. Like, right here, I got eight to spare, so I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a key here. Okay. Let's see. So the key is further ahead, and you have to... Oh, oh no! no. So the key's further ahead and you have to like retrace yeah, I'm not to steps. Yeah, retrace. Yeah. Mm. Not too sure where's that. Oh, that looks like it might be in there. Oh, in that flower pot. Yeah. Suspicious flower pot. There you go. <laughs> it's not too. Oh. Oh, okay. Follows now. you. Okay. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> I did get the halfway point, right? Yeah. When you came down from the top. Uh huh. You step through it at least. Okay. Right, it's, yeah, it's like that thing, right? Oh! It would look like those stars. Yeah. No, 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 no. I did that backwards. <laughs> I had to get him first and then the rings. Oh. I've been awarded one star. I don't know what was in that other door, but. Let's see. Oh, there goes Kamek. Yeah. So you're still on the baby side, Yoshi baby? <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi baby! Then get a load of this! <laughs> so this is what you were talking about, right? This okay, where... yeah, so Kamek makes them big. Yeah, so that expansion like that, uh, the, the the Super Nintendo by itself cannot I handle that. Don't know oh, how to God. do this! He's oh, okay. huge! There you go. Oh, and that thing's constantly spitting out eggs for you to grab oh, in case you run out. Uh, oh no! Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here in this little trench. How many hits does he take? I don't know. I don't even think I'm doing this correctly. I mean, it looks like he's taking damage. Oh! No. Ah! I'm out of eggs. Oh no! No 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 no! <gasps> Buddy! Okay. <laughs> oh man. Now this looks pretty straightforward. As you can see, you can mess up pretty easy. So oh. are you? Oh, is that it? No. Ah, uh, thought that was it. Are you? So you're safe in that little? That yeah, little but hole? I think I still need a duck. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Hold on. Okay. Nice. Come on. Oh, he's, he's naked. Oh, that's, oh, he's deflating? <laughs> I love that sound. It's like, wah, 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 wah. Nothing will defeat you more than embarrassment. <laughs> so that's what happened. Yeah. He knocked his pants off, but he was so embarrassed that he had to leave. Exactly. <laughs> Terrible points. Um, and your win's a win. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you get a move on here. All right, so I think that's going to do it for us for this episode, guys. Uh, again, we're gonna keep battling it out a little longer. Yeah. But hopefully, we see you on the next one. We'll see what uh, what other game we bring to you for the next episode. If you Have guys haven't played this game, care. man, go ahead and play it because, ooh, it's fun. It's a good one. It uh, gets, and don't do what, don't do that. Yeah. It definitely gets Miguel's seal of approval. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's hard to find these games now, but you know they're around. Yeah. But we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, everybody.